I will tell you a story of the night I saw diamonds over a field where I expected there to be snow. All I ask is for you to listen, feel your heart beating, close your eyes, and please try to see them too. I will tell you. Amour solaire. Dure métallique. Amour platonique. Aérodynamique. Amours épicuriennes. Du soir au matin. Amour à trois vitesses. Moteur, croisière, arrêt. Amours éphémères. Spirituel, charnel. Amour mécanique. Amour, aime, à l'infini. Amours interdites. Qu'on dit pour de l'air. Amour et jeux d'enfants. Ma reine a dû monter ou faire mon. Amours épileptiques. Sauve ce tectonique. Amours enchanteresses. Enchanter la sagesse. Amour diabolique. Diabolos et clinique. Amour Pygmalion. Expérience interdite. Inédite. Where sound resides. Tell me, do you know where the sound of love resides? I thought it to be a primary, though rather absent, color. I had thought it to take form in conflict, to restrict freedom, to redeem itself between two shapes against one another. I had once dreamed of Jove, believed him to be my god, my witness, my thunder, my brother, a constant friend, and my persistent lover. Then when Eros appeared, too tangible to be all I had wanted, I decided to fall at his feet, on my knees, my body liquid and flooding what stood sturdy and before me in pleas of contingency and divine separation. Now I've gone far away and into that dark and empty cave of silence. I've grown from a home far displaced while resting in solitude, in dismay, in a foreign conscience's penance. And although I've heard adulation call out my name again and again in hope, in fear, in varied states of ecstasy from far and too near. I've yet to clearly hear its resonance, its constant monotone and ever presence. As days fade into quiet, clocks hands fall with sunsets, and time ticks its insistent metronome for no orchestra. 
as old men lose their gods, as Triton blows his sea conch, as fishermen retire their masts and break casts into darkness. Have I already reached an unknown state of desensitivity and deafness? I have yet to read love's lips from any land's shifting contour. A land I've navigated already, but continue to search for. A land I've contrived, revived, somewhere in the vast terrain of my heart, but choose to abuse to ignore, even if you should disclose in your eyes or with your voice, suckering my resolution. To understand this cartographic life plan and all your reasons to navigate it, to simply find that unknown oral land where the sound of love resides. I know we are near to it.